guys, what's up? It's Allie, and today I'm going to be doing a huge haul of all of the stuff that I've kind of been hoarding and collecting over the last couple of months. Um, I have honestly filmed this video four times now, so I'm just going to get right into it because I cannot say this intro any more than I already have. So I'm going to start off with the makeup because there's a lot, and I kind of went a little ham on ColourPop the other month, but they came out with so many new things that I just like could not not. The first thing that I got is their Yes Please palette. It all has like a very sunset feel with like the reds, oranges, and yellows. I surprisingly really love this yellow color. I didn't think I was going to like it. And I also didn't think it was going to show up in my skin tone, but these are super pigmented and I'm in love with these shades. I'm actually wearing this shade, this shade, and this shade on my eyes right now. And I mean, I literally used a naked palette, like the very first naked palette for the last five years, honestly, up until now, because I thought that those like bronzy brown colors, very neutral colors, was all I needed in my life. This palette came out and I was like, whoa, I had to have it. It was only $16, so like obviously, oh my god. The next thing I got from ColourPop is their highlighter palette. It is called the Give Me More Highlighter Palette. The packaging is really cute, says I like your face on it, which is kind of funny because this is cute AF and these are totally two old jawbreaking shirts. If you OG, you know. Oh my god. I'm wearing this middle shade right here. It's called Bigger and Better. And I'm just in love. It's just so pretty. And this is going to last me a long time. They're super pigmented and it picks up like crazy. The next things that I got from ColourPop are three lip shades. But honestly, I can't find the third lip shade. But I got three and I have two here. So we'll just talk about these two. The first shade that I got is Speed Dial. It's an ultra matte lipstick. This color is described as a rich peach on me it's a little bit more of like a terracotta with like a peach undertone i'm not sure if i'm like describing that properly but on me it looks a little bit darker than a rich peach the next one that i got is my absolute new favorite pinky nude color it is an ultra satin which is kind of surprising because i am an ultra matte kind of gal and i have really only geared towards the ultra mattes this is called strip it is like i said the perfect pinky nude even a little peachy um, I'm wearing it right now, but I lined it with Chi Lip Pencil from the Karuchi Club. It's not too in your face, it's not too bold, and the formula is just really comfortable to wear all day long. The next thing that I got from ColourPop I actually purchased for my mom, and it was a bundle of mini on-the-go lippy sticks. And her kit came with a sampler of their lippy primer, which I've never heard of before until maybe a month or two ago, but apparently it's one of their best selling items, which is surprising because I've never seen them talk about it before in my life. I am not lying when I say that when I put this on my bare lips, it completely blurs the lines of my lips and makes them look so smooth. If you're not too fond of the ultra matte lipstick or really any matte lipstick, uh, this definitely helps the wear and the comfort of your lips. I just like using this as a base for all of my lipsticks now because it makes such a difference. And this is only like $5, so I'm about to cop a million of the full-size ones. I finally got my hands on this holy grail of a concealer. Y'all, this concealer is amazing. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This is exclusive to Ulta, actually. I did not know that. It is super pigmented. I love the wand on it. and. There's so much product in it and you really don't need a lot and the coverage is amazing. I use the shade medium and I could just talk about this for days. The next thing I got is a great dupe for the Tattoo Eyeliner by Kat Von D, uh, which I've used for a couple of years now. I'm really, really, really picky about my eyeliner because I love a good, like, girl, I will cut you line, as you can see. Sharp as fuck. This is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I wear it in black and it has a very, very fine pointy uh, brush tip and it gives you so much control. So I really love this. It's also waterproof and it's only $6.99 so how could you not? So I'm trying to get into a stricter skincare routine. I do take care of my skin but I know that I can do more to take care of it. I asked y'all on Instagram stories to DM me and tell me what I could do to get an eat more even skin tone and almost all of you guys said just use rosehip oil. So I just went to TJ Maxx and this giant bottle of rosehip oil. Basically what everyone told me to do was just take a little bit of this every night and rub it on my face before I go to bed. I just got this last week and I haven't been doing it every night so I haven't been seeing results yet. But I am going to try to do it a little bit more often so that I can see these results because I was shocked at how many people told me to just use rosehip oil. So I've just been including this in my nighttime uh, skincare routine. And this product. <laughs> Y'all, this is not an ad. It is life changing. I am so shocked at how well it works. It's only $20. This little device that Neutrogena came out with, it is their light therapy spot treatment. And it's 
not harmful to your skin. It's completely UV free, chemical free. It's super easy to use. Hold it down like this and purple and red lights show up for two minutes and it automatically turns off after two minutes. You put the pen over the affected area. You're supposed to do it on clean skin, so I'm not gonna like put it on my face, but I have some pimples right here. These have completely gone down within a day. You guys should have seen them before. This works really well if you have minor acne and it's just super easy to use. I just use it um, at night before I go to bed and when I wake up. I would not recommend it for someone who has severe acne. Uh, they have a mask for it. It literally looks like a Transformers mask. That one's a little bit more pricey since it is an entire mask. I just found these super cute, oh, they're a little dirty, Marc Jacobs sunglasses at Nordstrom Rack. I never really geared towards small sunglasses before because my face is so square, but I'm really, really into these and they're really lightweight and they're just so cute. Another pair of sunglasses I got are from the Desi Perkins and Key Club and oh my god. I have been hunting these down forever because they sold out so quickly and I didn't know that they were back in stock online so I could have just ordered them, but I found them at a boutique. I want all of them. I love Desi Perkins and I love Key, so obviously I had to get these. They're like the perfect aviator shape for my face. They're not too big and they're not too small. So I just love these. They're really good like aviator. Ugh, I'm like looking at myself in the mirror. I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and found this Gorge Rebecca Minkoff satchel for 50 bucks. What? I love me some Rebecca Makeup. I've been wearing Rebecca Makeup bags since like 2010. I'm like an OG Rebecca Makeup fan. I love her bags. This one is just a super cute satchel. It has cool zipper features on the side, which I really love. And it's just like a really cute everyday bag. Okay, so the next couple of things that I got uh, Victoria's Secret sent to me, I got these really cute underwear that I can't wait to wear. I literally just got these in the mail like yesterday, so the tags are still on them. Pretty much all of the underwear I own is Victoria's Secret pink, so this is just adding to the collection. The next thing that they sent me is this black and white bra. There is no wire, so it's super comfortable. It doesn't feel like a real bra. I actually have the matching underwear that goes with this that I got for myself like a couple of months ago. So it's perfect because now I have a matching set and I love having a matching set. So the next few things I'm gonna show you are actually from my own clothing store. A little self promo, never hurt anybody, but I'm just saying. I wanna talk about some of my favorite products, so let's just get into that. First is the After Hours crop top. I know it looks like a napkin, that's how Netta describes it, it looks like a napkin. It's actually such a cute going out top, as I like to call them. And by going out top, I mean, you know, the tops that you wear to the clear. So, this is club approved. I was jumping, jumping in the club and nothing was popping out. This is my absolute favorite item off of State of Mind. It's the Living My Best Life cropped hoodie. We have it in this cropped hoodie, an oversized hoodie, and a white t-shirt, and they're my favorite. This is like my life motto. Low key, I swear I'm me and Netta started saying it first, but it's fine. <laughs> Jokes, sort of. We decided to put this on a shirt because it's our life motto. We love living our best life, doing the most, you know, the huge. I found this amazing Gucci t-shirt for only $23. Guys, this is amazing. It's literally Gucci Mane, the rapper, with the Gucci logo going around him. I mean, like, does it get any more perfect? than that. And I love Gucci and I love Gucci so $23 well spent in my opinion. This next item is a home item that is one of my favorite candles now. I'm obsessed with it. It's basically if Anthropology threw up and made a candle. This is what Anthropology smells like. They burn these candles all the time so that's kind of like the Anthropology smell. It is the Capri Blue Volcano 06 candle. It smells amazing. Oh my god I could literally just like sit here and inhale this like a drug. Oh, it smells so good. Anyway, moving on. This apparently burns for 100 hours. I've never had the really big jar of it. I have burnt it plenty of times, and I don't know if you guys can see, but it's barely hit below this little dip right here, and it seems to be lasting very, very long. It is a little bit pricier for a candle, in my opinion, just because I don't usually spend $30 on a candle, but they do have mini versions of it if you do want to try it out. Polaroid sent me their new snap camera. I have the original one and it doesn't have a screen like this. This is basically an updated fancy digital version of it. You take your photos as you would with any other digital camera, but the amazing thing about this camera is that once you take the picture, it automatically comes out right here, prints it instantly. I cannot wait to use this in LA next month, which by the way, me and that are going to LA next month. So, my new bed, it's my new big girl bed, is the last thing on this haul. I literally love this bed so much. I had an Ikea bed that I got myself a couple of years ago, but it broke within a couple of years, and 
I was over it. It was a piece of shit. I basically just slept on my mattress on the floor for like a year and a half because I couldn't find the right bed frame slash all the ones that I wanted were too expensive. But then I discovered um, All Modern and Wayfair. Like, oh my god, what the heck was I doing before? I found the perfect West Elm looking bed for a not West Elm price tag. This bed was 300 something dollars. I don't know exactly. The original price I believe is about 500 something, which is still not even that bad for this bed frame. It is a platform bed as you can see. It's gray and has tufting on the headboard. I'll insert a picture so that you guys can see it, but I'm totally obsessed with it. The quality is amazing and it was so easy to put together. I'm not kidding when I say I built this by myself. Literally no help. That's how easy it was and I love it. I totally recommend getting a bed frame off of All Modern. Oh my gosh, I think that's it. Let's hope to God I like how this video came out because it's the fourth time I'm filming it. I'm gonna link all of this stuff down below so that if you want to check it out, you can. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, blah 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 blah, you know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!